Hey, good morning, Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today, let's take a look at the solar powered rain barrel. And this is something I think everybody should have. Uh, if you're into having rain barrels and using that gravity, that's really cool. But if you add a, a little pump to this, a 12 volt pump, and you go solar, check this out. So from the downspout, we took a small piece of corrugated pipe, ran that over to our uh, rain barrel, and you can see what I've done here. It's pretty cool. So we've got we've got the regular spigot for gravity. Of course, I mean, that works pretty good. But what we can do is we can add. You can read that. 12 volt DC solar power pump and I put that marking over here as well you see that and then I put a light to let people know to indicate that that pump is on so we can turn that pump on you see the light comes on we've got our garden hose set up it really works good and there's 30 gallons in here so we've got this pumps about 12 gallons a minute so we've got a few minutes here and if we put you know the uh the hose head on the end of that the nozzle it would slow that down even more so we'd have even more water so the biggest mistake that people make with the rain barrels is they don't put the overflow on there so i've got my overflow right now it's just running out and going out into the natural area over there but i'll bury that put it into a pop-up actually i'm going to make this into a garden over here so you guys can kind of see it. I'm gonna make this into a garden and I cleaned off around that magnolia, <laughs> but I gotta dig up all those palmettos. So again, I just used a piece of corrugated pipe. It's the easiest way to do that. And it'll run down, come into the rain barrel at the top. Easy to clean and maintain the rain barrel. We've got that drain at the bottom, the natural drain right here. We can drain the system from here, or we could pump it dry with our pump. And you see that pump kicks right on. Indicator light, shut off the pump. Light goes off, pump goes off. Perfect setup. Okay, so let's take a look inside of the rain barrel. You can kind of see everything. So you can see our inlet line coming from the gutters. Remember, we just put that up and we've got screens covering all the gutters so no debris can get down in here. We've got our outlet, and we've got our pump, and we've got our indicator light as well. There's silicone inside of those wing nuts so that they, this will never have a problem with that at all. No water will get into that. We've got the outlet down there at the bottom for just gravity, and we've got a 12 volt pump. This pump pushes about six gallons a minute. So we've got 30 gallons. You can do the math. We've got five, six minutes of, of good water use here. That doesn't sound like a long time, but it's more than enough to water lots of plants and things like that. And with the nozzle, we can slow that down, probably get about 10 minutes of water out of this barrel. 10 minutes, 30 gallons. That's a long time if you really think about 10 minutes and watering something. That's a long, long time. And really great pressure as well. The nicest thing about what I did here is actually the indicator light. I mean, this is so, so great. It just reminds you, even though I can hear that pump right now, it reminds you that pump is on. And when we turn the switch off, you can see the light goes off, and of course you can hear the pump stop. But what a great little project. And I mean, the solar panel and all of the battery, about 200 bucks for all of that. Um, then we've got, you know, a few extras here, like the little light, you know, $1.99, switches, things like that. Uh, rain barrel this total project was probably right under maybe three hundred dollars total for a solar powered solar powered rain barrel and it's so cool i think that they should manufacture these things uh, rather than just you know sell you a rain barrel that has a gravity which is great i mean it, it works okay 
you know i mean it it's got gravity i think we're out of water <laughs> but yeah i mean they, they work good and i really like the rain barrel i think it's one of the coolest things to use to go green you can see there's the downspout coming up to the gutters and we put all the new gutter up there with a the screen i showed you that yesterday on the video from yesterday and i mean this is absolutely the way to go if you if you like to go green and have a rain barrel you really should think about putting that pump down inside of your rain barrel and it's really simple you know i've showed you so many different solar different ways you can use solar so once you get your panels and your battery bank it's so easy to make a powered pump 12 volt powered pump hey this is chuck with apple drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.